Hello and welcome back to Snowbunner and our hard mode adventure, which I think I should quickly rename our hard mode disaster. Because last time out, we had another roll of the truck. We've semi-recovered is where we're at. So uh, let's jump back into it. New day, new disaster. That's what we're going with. So we're going to change over from the White Western into the Fleet Star. A little bit nimbler. Plus, it's, it's got a little bit of fuel to spare. So we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. I'm going to start by smacking into my trailer. Now, I'm going to start by grabbing the one at the top of the hill. That's the one I want. Try to be mindful of camber where we can. We have churned this up to no end. Oh, my angle is a little bit off there, isn't it? We're getting stuck straight in because we wasted so much time last time. Okay, that should register. Pack that. Just put everything back. Right, next up, we have these two down here. We lost these. These two little buggers. try and get them both on this angle oh that anchor didn't go down very well did it that should flip over we'll bring it around this side because we are not very sturdy. I think that's going to come in any further for me. So we'll just drop that one down. And that will be... Pack, pack. So we'll get this one. After the last episode, who had overloaded trailers down for uh, this one? <laughs> oh dear. That should hold that in place. I don't think that will go anywhere else. Just maybe push it down a little bit further. Yep, that ain't gone anyway. Right. So we just want to put the anchors away. Stay as close to that as possible. That should do us fine. One. You have to um, 
pack. Okay, I'm telling you, perfect crane operator doesn't exist <laughs> until you've seen me. Keep doing it like that. There we go. Right, so then change over, and we should be able to. All three of those in there. Lovely. Right. Make sure the engine's off. Thank you very much, Mr. Fleet Star. You are a legend. But we do have, we do have one more to get. The Fleet Star might even come back out for this. It's down there. This one should be okay. I thought that about the other ones, though, didn't I? So what am I talking about? I bet this job doesn't even pay all that well. So we'll unpack and pack. Store our crane. Didn't even put my handbrake on. High risk, no reward. <laughs> oh there. Hope everyone's well. As always, hope you're enjoying the series. The ups and downs of it all. The swings and roundabouts. The absolute disaster that is my hard mode series. Having fun with it though. Having fun with the struggles. I like the challenge. If it was going to be easy for me, it wouldn't be a challenge and I wouldn't enjoy it. And uh, it wouldn't be called hard mode, would it? Not that anything that's causing me issues is <laughs> anything to do with hard mode. It's all to do with my ability. As my friend Red would say, skill issues. Spent nearly a whole day on these. And I've still got to get back up and round the other way because I am not taking this on that crappy route up there. No way. To be fair, there's a fuel tank that we need to get as well. Might do that with the fleet star though. There's going to be some fuel in here. Can I get through that over the back? Gonna be naughty. Oh, I think I can. Please and thank you, sir. Beautiful. Nearly three grand. Nearly three grand. So that's half of what I spent on new tyres. <laughs> Uh, right, let's get this back to the garage, can we? Oh, you know what we can do while I'm here as well is engage brain. Because we're going to have some repair, no doubt. What do you know? Look, no damage. How is that? No damage. Yeah. Okay. Should have checked beforehand, shouldn't I? 
I just assumed, you know, you roll your truck and drag it along the ground like that. It's going to need a little, a little touch up somewhere, at least a nut and a bolt. Okay. All wheels on. Now I'm thinking, when I get back to Black River, what do we need to do? We need to actually do the, uh, the not a drill and all that. Get the, get the drill size set up. I think there is the... I have to call it the river boat. I think it's the river, riverside supplies or riverside rescue or somewhere. There's a little house. I want some stuff. I think they want two wood and two... Two... Um, service parts so we might pick up the service parts on the way through here then go and grab the wood because I don't think we have any service parts out on Black River I'm not aware of but we might have oh, I'm not going to know until I get there am I because on hard mode it doesn't show you what you have I don't think. What do we have on these trailers? If I jump to, then we have to do another load screen, which wouldn't affect you guys actually, so I could have done that. But on here we have, it doesn't say, I think that's vehicle spare parts. And there's nothing on that one, nothing on that one. That's a fuel trailer. So if we want, um, service spare parts. We have to go to the warehouse. Yeah. So I might just get the service spare parts, drop them off. So I can, mm, can bring in this trailer through. I could have done all this with a fleet staff. I'm going to do it that way. I do irritate myself. But I'm trying to use other vehicles and do it different from what I normally would do. Because in my head, I'm, I'm just sort of saying, well, your normal way of doing it is not going to work. The, the pattern and routine that I've gone for since we've unlocked the map and, and done all the scouting. This isn't how I would normally do things. But I thought I was trying to plan it out. He's smart, but all I've done is waste a lot of time. So I do apologise. Scout out, open up the roads. That is definitely the way to go first. I was just concerned that my vehicles weren't going to be prepared, and I think they've sort of shown that they're not. I'm not sure if it's an engine or just the gearbox upgrade that I need, but I've never seen anyone else travel as slow as me in the uh, the White West. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go through the river with this. Oh, not through the river, not through the, through the mud. I thought I'd bog down, but weren't really bogged down. Just actually on the tree that I wanted to get over. I 
don't worry. I know that there is absolutely zero evidence that I have been playing this game for three years when I play it. It's mad, isn't it? It's one of them things that I just never got any better at. I just always get to enjoy it. <laughs> I find that as well with a lot of other games that I do long term. Like, uh, you know, I really enjoyed my farm sim. But... I forget too much, and I still make so many mistakes, even though I've been bouncing for well over 10 years. I do not look like someone that's been playing that game for 10 years when I create my videos and do my streams. Just how it is. Yeah, we definitely need a a better gearbox just so I can get rid of the constant gear changes because that is that is hampering me. Because getting through the swamp now is gonna be an absolute disaster as well. Once we get back to Black River, we can start making some progress, and I'll, I'll feel alright. You know, I need to need to get a couple of back-to-back -back jobs done. Uh, today's not going to be a back-to-back -back jobs one. I need to get a couple of back-to-back -back jobs done, uh, get some confidence back, a bit of momentum. Not roll another truck for a couple of days, please. <laughs> I think the the downfall is that I didn't get go out and get all of my upgrades straight away. I think I, I got this. I don't know. Have I got this already? And then went into into Drummond's and then oh sorry, then went into uh, the Lake Island Lakes. Whereas I needed the upgrades first, so that I could have had this all, all suited and booted and ready to go. That's what I should have done. I think I, I rushed a couple of steps in preparation. Not that I really had steps, but to have, to have been more successful. I think I, I skipped some steps and this, that sort of cost me, because I'm now sort of backtracking a lot. Each to their own, my friends. Each to their own. And as, as long as we're progressing forwards, you know, as long as we're progressing forwards, then then it's going well. As long as I can make a little bit of money each each time to uh, cover the eventual costs of me having to recover, which you've already had to do once, eight grand for a full recovery, that was nasty. Nasty enough that we never want to do it again. And I think now, now with the vehicles we have, provided we can get in and to a vehicle to to recover it manually, we should be alright. It was just because we didn't have an, another vehicle powerful enough to correct the uh, P16, and we, we quite possibly could have gone back and put a heavy crane on one of our trucks but that would have cost us like seven and a half grand anyway and it cost eight grand to get the full recovery so it's just that we would have had the uh, the crane for the future and we will need it without a doubt we will need a heavy crane for recoveries Even the chap that I like to watch and talk about <laughs> and whistle the praises for uh, a wessel, he uh, he rolls them. I had to wait a long time to see him really get get stuck and have to do much of a, a recovery. 
Yeah, I don't think I'm trying to think now. I don't think I've seen him do a full recovery like me. And he's, you know, I'm up to uh, Tamir on his series. But he has had to get a crane out to assist in recovery, so. And he's a, a well planned out, well formed, thought out, hard mode player. I'm a less wing it and less change our plan six times a day, kind of. But yeah, can we get some speed at all? Not really. Too risky. Should be alright finding our way through the swamp from inside. You pretty much just stay beside the uh, power line poles, really. Or are they telephone poles? They're yeah, telephone poles, aren't they? A little, bit, a little bit premature on the gear change. Just want to get there. I always say there's no rush, but I feel the need to rush all the time. Like I say, it's the uh, that need to progress. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. We should be good now. So if you're wondering where we are, if you're unsure, we are up by the quarry. The heart of Smithsville. Wait until we have to go do some jobbies there. sometimes having this, despite rolling with this, sometimes having these longer trailers offer a little bit more stability you've got the extra tyres and sort of supporting you as you go further forward sometimes so you've got the extra support behind not always, but sometimes it feels like that we go. Try 
I think if I want my scout for anything back this way, I pick it up and carry it on the bed, but I don't think I do. Squeak that through, lovely. Yeah, we'll get some JTOMDs on this. It'll, uh, it'll run a bit better. We'll see if we've got an engine for it and a gearbox. And they should be good for us for a bit. I believe the third engine upgrade, if it's not uh, locked behind a level, I think that is found in Alaska. So that's some way off. And by the time I get there, I'll definitely forget where it was. Because we are in Alaska on a stream mode series. Uh, by the time this releases, I may have finished. The schedule is is looking quite healthy. Uh, it's healthy for SnowRunner, anyway. <laughs> I do bring the Twitch streams over uh, onto YouTube as well. Uh, you'll notice that they, I think they dropped uh, normally Wednesday, Thursday, sometimes Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, but I stream over there three nights a week, sometimes more. So I do bring them over, but I don't like force them through because we have such a busy schedule anyway. So they are way ahead. So if you want to see where we're at uh, on the on the Twitch series, best way to do that is to come over and uh, join us on Twitch. Drop us a follow over there. I do try and stick to my schedule. So engine wise we can go better, thank you, we'll sell that one, gearbox, off road, high range off road, yeah, sell that one, suspension's good, tyres, so we've got your OD2s on, man I felt like we struggled. And I know, I, do, I have wasted a lot of money on tyres. I am aware of this. So a winch. I would like some better winches, but it's just... Trying to justify it at the minute is, is difficult. So, should be... A big... <laughs> should be a little bit better. Engine, tyres, gearbox, which is all good. All good now. some spare service parts. I 
while I do that as well, I want to see if I can fit a drill in the back of this and show you can. In the past, I've always brought a really big trailer and put it on a high hitch to carry that drill on, but I think the drill will fit in the back here. It's a five slot thing, isn't it? Yeah, that'll fit in there. Nice. Good to know. Right, so I want two of these. Yeah. Oh, I paid for them. Oh, dear. That's 150, that's 300, isn't it? We've got a crane for a reason. Manual, manual. I'd like to do that again. Silly, silly man. Yeah, 150 for an auto load. So that just costs us 300. And this is where my logistics is going to be right out, because either I'm going to have to take these on this massive trailer to the house for the delivery, and then go and get the wood and come back, or I go and get the wood first. I think I might go get the wood first. I think either way I've got to do as many trips, so let's just risk rolling it as we get to the house once, rather than twice. Right, off to Black River. Well, hello, old friend. So we want this job. That's the one I want. The boatman's house. There you go. That's why I always call it the river. The riverboat or whatever. Yeah, we'll come down. Got a spare trailer there. Should have done it with the fleet. This, again, this is why I use the fleet for everything. Because it's got the back on. And it normally does everything. But yeah, we'll come back. We'll get some words and we'll come back out and then we'll just go in that way. I think that's my route of choice. Take out the signs. If you see a sign, you gotta take it out, apparently. speed. Let's get through the mud. Have to be careful as we come through town because I do leave a lot of trailers out of out. But I think they're pulled off to the side pretty good at the minute. Let's 
checking what we would like for fuel, we're fine. Must remember to manual them in. Let me hop our way down. Like all grown men would. Hop, skip and a jump and off you go. Going to on the loading platform, please. Thank you very much. I was too lazy, lazy to detach the trailer and park up next to it. This is just one at the top. And then we'll pack it away and it should go. All in. Lovely job. Right. Off to the uh, boathouse. No doubt I have made this harder for myself. I normally... <laughs> normally I do this in two trips. I do the service spare parts, then I do the wood. Or possibly... Do the logs, and... Then... Uh, or do the wood, and... Uh, service spare parts, or bring them on separate trailers. And then if it gets a little bit risky, detach, and then go back again. In my attempt at being efficient and wasting two days doing next to nothing, <laughs> we're going to take them all in one go. <laughs> oh dear. Taking out their front fence. Don't mind me.
kind of avoid the rocks and then swing out a little bit wide. Oh, maybe not that wide. Again, under poor lighting, it's not easy to see. Certain areas look a lot worse than what they are. Let's we'll take out this fence so we can get in around the back. And the wheelbarrow. There we are. Service parts, wooden planks, task complete, riverside repair. 1600, so we've still only halfway to getting our money back for the tyres that we brought that are probably unnecessary but there we go 180 so we are still at level 9 I'm just going to actually turn my engine off because I want to have a little look see at what I want to do we have obviously this to go and pick up those two crates there and then those two crates there I hate that job I hate that job that is my least favourite job Yeah, missing machinery, meteorology data. I don't like that either, but we'll get to that at some point. So, pipe drain. They want us to take the heavy fuel trailer. Which, I believe we moved to there. And then I want two bricks and metal beams. I don't think we have any bricks anywhere anymore. I think the bricks we had were on there, and they're gone. They are. So for bricks and metal beams to get there easily. Bricks are up here, aren't they? That's such a chore. Such a chore. Um, where in Smithsville can we get bricks? Can we get bricks at this warehouse? Let's see, as annoying as it is that you'd have to go all the way through here, that is actually easier to get to. Yeah, bricks. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do next is jump to the Fleet Star and we'll try and bring the Fleet Star through and up. I'm wondering whether I should just try and collect this stuff up as well. No, let's, 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 let's finish Black River. Let's not get lost again. Let's not do that. So yeah, going to jump to the Fleet Star and we'll try and make our way to get some bricks. So, Fleet Star it up. There we go. Oh, turn the engine off. Deja vu. Here we go again. When you can't, just, you know, speedily recover your trucks to bring them back to your garage to just pull them out again somewhere else. That's what you have to do. And this is why the good players have their fuel tankers spread out. Whereas I've got all my bunches together. tow this back with me as well. Wise or not, I'm not sure. So we need repairs. Not a lot, but, you know, it's not bad, eh? It's not bad to like to need a lot of repairs.
and then we can get stuck on those Dyson oil jobs. We'll uh, get the bricks, get the take the bricks through, we'll grab the metal, we can do that delivery with the Western. We can then uh, get the drill part, that'll be a Western job. And then we'll pull through the Brains gone blank. The uh, P16, and that'll do the the large construction trailer afterwards. And then I think we'll just have the, the challenges left in there to do. It's been so long since I did. I've done the meteorology. One, I know it's one of the ones where you've got to stay in cab and you've got to hit, hit certain points. But I can't remember if that's... Uh, I think that's a scout one, isn't it? I think we want the scout over there. The, the food from the farm. We can run that one with the fleet. I should, should be able to do that in plenty of time. Although when we last did it on the... Uh, on the stream series, it, it, it seemed to take a while. It did it in plenty of time, but it felt slow. And then the wood we'll do with the uh, the white western and our large trailer. We'll do that all in, all in one. Well, that's why another reason why I wanted that over there is you can then do that all in sort of one hit because you can put all five or four, four. Yeah, you want four, but yeah, you put all four in there then. So four or five, four. One for the church, one for the house, two for the Drill and sight, I'm sure that's what it is. Get all four out there. Stay out of the mud for a minute. Being careful of the uh, embankment. Halfway through our fuel by the looks of it. How do I, I do that all the time? I, honestly, I do this so often. I take that shortcut and then <laughs> miss my turn and back on the path. Let's go round here. scary how often I do that because I know that I do it normally in the dark I think I did it the first time we came through as well some gas. Now the fleet starts going to try and trundle through the swamp, pulling the heavy trailer. Should be alright. It's one of the things where it's just not going to be quick, unfortunately. But we got a job that we did get one job done today. Two. We got two jobs done today. 
because we finished off the cup, but we finished off delivering the cement. Seriously gonna go this bad? Come on. Surely this trailer isn't that heavy. Let's see, get some momentum. If we weren't rolling trucks at quite a frenetic rate, I wouldn't worry too much about it, but I'm breaking things. And that's not good. Come on, send it where I'm looking. There we go. This is some, some yummy track. Sun's coming up. Need to find somewhere decent to try and leave the truck <laughs> at the end of the episode. I can't leave it in the mud. We got about two hours left. Got ten, ten minutes maybe. Let's winch our ass across this swamp. Sometimes turn off all wheel and just putting all the power to the rears actually helps. Just more torque there, pushing you through. and keep the raised part of the track. So it actually progressed a little bit better by having all the power goes to go into those back four.
if you're an avid player, what would you say is more essential to you? The, uh, the all-wheel drive or the diff lock? I mean, I know a lot of players probably like to try and play with trucks that have all-wheel drive and diff lock always on. I like these... Uh, I like the Fleet Star. I'm not sure if I've said this before. I like I like the Fleet Star because it teaches you how to play the game. How are we for time? Oh, we've got an hour. That's like four minutes. But yeah, if you come, if you come in, say on normal mode, and or even on hard mode. No, not on hard mode. You have anything. If you came in on normal mode, and say you sold pretty much everything on that wing spot. And then you go and buy yourself, you know, a perceived better truck that's got all wheel drive all the time, it's got diff lock all the time, larger fuel tank. And all that, all that juicy goodness that we all like. You'll come to a stage when, you know, you're using something different. You will have to. You will come to a stage where you use something different, unless you use like one monster truck all the time. The Fleet Star, being one of the early trucks, especially the the early good truck, you have to manage your gears. You have to learn how to manage your gearbox. You have to learn how to manage your diff lock, managing your traction, managing your fuel. Because, you know, it's, it's only got a, you know, a small uh, fuel tank, 240 litres. That's tiny for these trucks. But it is a small truck, it's quite a small compact truck. It's the big brother to the Lodestar, which is just a scout. And I think in the 70s, now, it's not like me to do research on this, is it? In the 70s, International pretty much combined them as, as, as one thing. The Lodestar and the Fleet Star. If we had enough money, like right at the start, I would have liked to have had the Fleet Star. Oh, the Load Star, sorry. Load Star, Fleet Star. Load Star, Scout, Fleet Star truck. Great little combo. A great, great start and fleet there to, like I say, to teach them the mechanics and managing all these different things. And I think because I've used the Fleet Star so much over the years as my favourite truck, my favourite small truck, like I'm just more comfortable with it. I don't worry about whether it's going to do this or do that because, you know, in most situations I know what it's going to do because I've, I've put it through most situations. Whereas you give me a, a truck that's, you know, slightly better in, in just the White Western Star, which, you know, I've, I've said before, I've never really used it because I was always happy to do everything with the fleet. I don't know what its limits are. I don't know how it feels and how it looks just before it tips. as well. why it tips. I'll tip the fleet star, but I'll know I'm going to tip it. It's not very often the fleet star will surprise me when it tips over. It'll just be me knowing I've pushed it too far. And that's why I get annoyed with myself when I do such things. So I want to get some bricks, don't I? Is this the only trailer that's really here? I think it is. That one's got stuff on it. We ain't going down there yet. Right. Well, this is a little bit closer. We're, we might tow it along once we've got some. Uh, actually, no, I'll put the bricks in me. I'm not going to use that other trailer. 
Uh, attach. Put the bricks in me. Yeah, I'll put some bricks. Oh no, it will be time now. What am I doing? End of the day, mate. End of the day. Let's get off the road. Can't break on. What is the time? Oh, gone 45 minutes over. Well, we are traversing through Smithville. <laughs> Do the same thing twice. Uh, we got two jobs done today. That is that is progress. We got something done. And you know what? We didn't roll a truck, which is good. Next time out, we'll have our bricks. We'll get our metal. We'll head up to uh, sorting out the, the drill stuff and get the drill ready. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll grab ourselves a drill. We'll then get the construction stuff. And it, we, we are on the road to getting this stuff done. Um, hopefully you have enjoyed this one and my ramblings. Uh, if you have... Give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification, I'll find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You know, I know my logistics isn't great. I don't mind if you have a laugh at it. Tell me ways to improve, what you would have done, what I could do, what I should do going forwards, things I should consider. Let me know what you think. Also, come and join us in the Discord. I'm trying to get a few more SnowRunner members into the community. We're heavy on farm soon. We're heavy on ATS, ETS. So if you're into a bit of snow running, you want to come and share and try and help add some spice to the community, Discord's down there. Come join us live over on Twitch for when we stream over there. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.